Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Good afternoon. Just got this from the UPS guy now. It's a beautiful day, so I'm gonna do my review outdoors. Not to mention the fact that this thing is huge. You know what this is? This is a 12 volt refrigerator for your car. Like if you take long trips and stuff, you got the refrigerator either in your SUV, in your trunk, or you can put it in your back seat, right? You got to remember though, as a refrigerator, it takes up a lot of electricity, right? Just like the ones in your house. So you have to remember that when you plug this into your 12 volt cigarette lighter, right? That you don't plug it into constant 12 volt. You know, the one that's usually in the back part of your trunk or something like that, right? You have to park it up, uh, not park it. You have to stick it into your 12 volt cigarette lighter that's switched, meaning that the only way it's on, that it's getting power, is if the key is in there and the engine's running. So it'd be great if you're taking a long trip, you got it plugged in, right? It's cooling up, and uh, when you shut off the, turn off the key, it shuts off. But because it's insulated, it's a refrigerator, things will stay cold in there until the next time you turn the key in driving your car. But if you plugged it into your 12 volt constant, right, like in your trunk, if you leave your car and this thing continues to run for hours, you're not going to be able to start your car again because this will drain all the battery in your car. So let's open this up. So this is a bodega. Bodega. You guys know what a bodega is? If you're from New York, you know what a bodega is. Bodega is a convenience store. I believe it's Latin. I'm sorry, Latino. <laughs> Holy cow! Goodness gracious. Ooh. Cool. So here it is. It's like one of those coolers on wheels, but this is powered, right? By 12 volts so that you could. Uh, refrigerate whatever's in there plastic wheels Ooh, look at that you have an option for solar power this is the 12 volt or 24 volt plug-in and uh, there was a cover here it fell off in the packaging uh, I don't know what it is yet looks like you could put a battery in there huh got a handle on this side that's for scraping the floor it's got an LCD display here up down I guess temperature settings power button shapes here where you can put your uh, drinks or whatever Let's open it up and see what's inside. Wow, look at that, huh? Cool. I think this part's a freezer. A separate freezer compartment. How about that? It's got a box in it. When you open the box, it's got all the hardware. I believe this is the charger, right? The brick for the charger. Why am I talking like that? I have no idea. And this is the plug for your cigarette lighter. Oh, wow. So look, you can use this for your home, right? 110. And also 12 volts for your home, uh, for your car. That's fantastic. Here's a user manual or instructions. Get out of here. We don't need instructions. Forget about it. Excellent. Let's bring this into the garage and plug it in the wall. So check this out. You have a cutting board here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> you have a cutting board here. We can slip it into this molded area. You can slice whatever you need if you're preparing food or something. Very cool. On the very bottom there, there's a drain hole where you can lift the plug and drain any excessive um, moisture buildup, water, whatever. 
but there isn't one for the freezer. Look at this. You can extend the handle and pull it where you need it. So I'm in my garage now. We're indoors and I'm going to connect the home one. Okay, so uh, AC 120. 120 to 220, I believe. Uh, this one you could use for your car when you go on a road trip or something. Uh, okay, so I'm going to first plug in this one. It's on the back. Right here. Can only go in one way. <laughs> Goes in like that, and we'll plug it in here. Are you ready? Ooh, I heard a beep. Okay, we're at the display here. Let's press the power button and see. Ooh, look at that. So right now, um, ooh, I can hear it. Hear it? I hear the compressor moving. It has to have a compressor in it. So it says 14.2 volts. Uh, that's transformed, you know, that's converted from 110 to the 12 volt range. Um, maximum high. So you can lower the temperature. I, that might be Celsius. Okay. So you that's the that's the target. There you go. You want it to be 40 degrees, okay? Max economy and max. So this is just switching between economy and max. Very cool. Well, look at that. It has LED lights on the side. Very fancy. So over here, this is the freezer part, as you can see. It's highlighted, the freezer part. And here is the refrigerator part. So I'm just going to uh, let it run for a while. I can feel that it's cold right here already. Right here. Not here. Not anywhere else. Oh, wait a minute. The sides over here is cold. And here. But the freezer still feels warm. It's only been like five minutes. I was trying to see whether or not that light goes off when you close it. And it does. See? <laughs> so we'll come back in about an hour and see where these gauges are. I think the current temperature is 73 here and 71 over there. So it's been two hours. <laughs> I watched the movie. Anyway, I'm back. So here we go. Look at that. Look at that. So now in the refrigerated side, it's only 41 degrees and it's zero degrees here. Let's open it up and feel. Wow. It's cool in here. Oh my goodness, it's freezing in here. That's amazing. Wow, I'm really impressed. So now we could have ice cream if you want. Bring it with you in the car. And all your cold drinks or whatever you need to keep cool is in this refrigerator that you can take camping or your long drives or what have you. You know what? I'm going to now... Um, Turn it off, and uh, I'll come back like in an hour or two, and uh, I'm sure it's still going to be very cold because this is like a cooler, a thermos, you know what I mean? So that's fantastic. So that's really great, huh? Thank you so much to Bodega for, for sending it to me uh, and for review. It's wonderful. I've never had anything this high-tech, this good quality, um, and I've got a... Indy 500 trip that I'm going to be having soon. I'm going to take this with me. Um, 
I'm going to leave a link in the description if you guys are interested. It's fantastic. Uh, good for traveling, taking it with you, uh, rolling it, you know? And uh, for you to be able to have a freezer too. I mean, that's that's really unusual, you know what I'm saying? You can't find one these days that have a freezer too. Basically just a portable refrigerator on the go. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.